Moving on though, I want to touch on something very important that I think we should talk about. Um, ghosts. Ghosts. I want to talk about ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? Hmm. Now when I say ghosts, I don't mean Casper. I don't mean paranormal activity ghosts. I mean real life ghosts. Things that, you know, haunt you. Things that traumatize you kind of from your past. Um... You know, listen, we live in a world now where everybody is way more accessible than ever before. There has been no generation before this where everybody in the world, whether you know them or you do not know them, was as accessible as they are today. You can thank the cell phones for that. You can thank social media for that. All of that. But with that being said, it makes it even harder to try to get over or get past or move on because they then began to be toxic to you. They're taking away from your happiness and your peace of mind. It's so hard to do that now because you can be bombarded from every angle that you look at. You go through the Instagram, you go through the Twitter, the Snapchat, the, the emails, the text messages. It's all right there. It's it's out of fucking control. And it's it's sad to say that, you know, I think a lot of people are addicted to letting those ghosts torment them. You know? You know good and damn well how you feel and the place mentally that you get into when you allow yourself to see things that you don't want to see or you allow communication between yourself and someone you do not need to be communicating with because you are looking to change the overall dynamic of your mind and your life and you're trying to find that peaceful place again i told you guys i'm going to that's going to be my main message when it comes to my podcast is preaching to tell you guys please do your best to find your own peace of mind. Not relying on someone else to be that. Not relying on someone else to give it to you. You go out and you find your peace of mind where you are truly happy at. But back to my point about ghosts. We, we allow ourselves to be haunted by these things, man, that, we, that we've either gone through, seen, talked about, talked with, hated a person for, let, it them, let them hate us for. Hey, man, we all go through life. We all, you know, have bad breakups, good breakups, best friends turn into enemies. Your old thing, you thought they would have never did that to you, but they did. They switch up. They're fake. You know, there's fuck boys out there. There's fuck girls out there. All of that. All of that. That's just the world we are living in today. Everyone is way more accessible than they've ever been. Everyone has way more fucking options than they ever had before. That is the world we are living in. So you have to do your best now to be on defense 98% of the time to make sure that, hey, whatever the fuck is going on out here in the world, I cannot allow it to take away from my peace of mind and my happiness. Even the person that I may be putting all this time and effort into, because they could switch up on me too. Now, I know that seems like a very negative uh, way of looking at it or a very pessimistic way, but I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm more of a realist than I am a a pessimistic person or optimistic person. I'm just more of a realist. I implore you all, to use that block feature on your phone. I implore all of you to do it. Whether it's blocking them from being a, blocking a person from being able to call you or, or send you a text message, blocking a person uh, on Instagram so you don't have to see their photos and what they're doing in life, Twitter, Facebook, all social medias. That block button is literally like blocking them from your reality because you can say what you want and everyone kind of likes to play that facade of like, oh, well, social media in real life, like, I'm not really all that concerned about it. Bullshit. You look at it every single day. So does everyone else. But we like to downplay it because we don't want to look crazy. But the point is, it's an everyday thing. You look at it every single day. So you are allowing yourself to be haunted by all these things that you know good and damn well puts you in a place mentally that you don't need to be. I implore you all to hit that block button. Stop traumatizing yourself by letting these old things affect you because visually you are seeing it. Visually you're looking for it. Stop it. 
Put an end to it. Block it. That person can no longer call you. That person can no longer send you a text message. Block it. It is like, it's literally like putting a force field around yourself from the fuck shit. I implore you all, ladies and gentlemen, to get over the ghosts. Stop letting these ghosts traumatize you. Get past it and do what you need to do to make sure that it doesn't affect you anymore. I implore you all to hit that block button. Yo, what's going on? It's Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. If you enjoyed this clip of the Aware Wolves podcast, make sure you sign on to patreon.com backslash Cleo Thomas and pledge today so you can have access to the full episode.